Warren Buffett once said that you don't have to be an expert on every stock to find great businesses trading at fair or better prices. One of the basic things that investors can do now to filter their target area of investment is to look at valuations. Let's do a three-point analysis of which are the sectors that are trading at good prices and must be looked at by investors. One, which are the sectors which are trading at attractive valuations right now? Well, according to Modilal Oswal, as many as six sectors are trading at a discount to their long-term averages, such as capital goods, healthcare, infra, media and metals. Now, the brokerage house also compares the current valuation of price to earnings multiple with that of average price to earnings multiple seen in the last 10 years. Now, capital goods sector is trading at a PE multiple of 24.5 times at a discount of 9% to the 10 year average. Similarly, the metal sector is trading at a price to earnings to a multiple of 9.9 .9 times, which is at a discount of 19% to the 10 year average. Two, is it time to dig into sectors which are actually trading at a discount to their long-term averages? Well, experts suggest that even though many sectors are trading at a discount to their long-term averages, which essentially means that stocks in that particular sector are available at relatively cheap valuations, but not every sector is a long-term buy. Now, out of the six sectors that we've spoken, which are trading at a discount, Capital goods and infra have the potential to deliver long-term returns to investors. Now, these two sectors will definitely benefit and outperform once the investment cycle also picks up. Healthcare and media are likely to prolong their underperformance on a medium-term basis. Three. Should investors hold or book profits in sectors which are trading at a premium right now? Well, investors should be more cautious of the sectors which are trading at a premium right now. As many as nine sectors are trading at a premium valuations when compared to their long-term averages, which include sectors like auto, banks, PSU banks, NBFC, cement, consumer, retail and technology. Now, public sector banks' valuations have also recovered gradually due to the recent capital infusion by the government and also the improving earnings trajectory. Now, while auto sales have declined continuously, Continuously due to the weak demand sentiments, Motilal Oswal believes that the normal monsoon forecast and also the BS6 related pre buying should definitely drive volumes from Q2 FY20 onwards. The auto sector, however, could underperform for a couple of more quarters. The IT sector is seeing a lot of safe haven buying. While the operating margins have actually shrunk, IT remains a high profit and above average growth industry even in the tough times. With pharma becoming too cyclical, investors are now moving towards FMCG and IT as a defensive play. Now, sectors which could deliver consistent returns are consumers, to some extent IT as well as PSU banks. NBFC valuations are high and one needs to have a stock-specific approach in there.